Thanks for staying with us. So on Wednesdays, we like to celebrate women, and um, one of which is our guest today. She's a woman we love um, as a media personality, producer, presenter, editor, hmm. who has also experience in, has experience in business strategy, banking, and handling non-governmental organizations. Welcome with us, Ola Kweju Fadireko Ibikwe. Welcome to the show, madam. Thank you, Mariah. Good to have you on the show. Thank you so, so one much. One of the things we like to do is get women to inspire others, you know, especially this season that many women are going out, they're pushing themselves into, into office and strategy and business. Um, in the summary, give us uh, your background and what you do so that we can then take it from there. Okay, I think you've done a fantastic job <laughs> of introducing me already. Yeah. Uh, but I'm here basically because of my role as a film producer. Yes. I recently produced a movie called um, Chatroom. Mm. And um, Chatroom yeah. Yeah. is focused on um, women, okay. right? But it touches on some issues that affect the entire society, both men and women. Mm. Um, it's a timely story, interesting story. Um, for my background, yes, I have experience in banking, like you rightly mentioned. Yeah. I also have experience in um, leading non-profit organizations. Mm. And yes, the media, production, I was a journalist right. in some, year, some years ago. Hey. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, as um, Mariah introduced in the beginning, this is our women we love. So it means we want to know everything about <laughs> you. Of course, you know, the way that you speak already, I can tell that you have experience in uh, media. And... The question is, how did you get there? Was it always a dream of yours? And were there any challenges while you were in media? In the media? Mm -hmm. The media was interesting for me. So um, I have my first degree in mass communication from the University of Lagos. Yeah. So I didn't just happen on the media. Mm -hmm. I'm a trained journalist. Mm -hmm. And I practice as a journalist, yes, and um, yes production of documentaries, carrying camera around. Wow. I was in Galaxy Television in those ah. days. I'm in Galaxy. They'll just give you the camera. <laughs> Go. And they'll give you the location, right? <laughs> so and they'll give you the letter. This is what you're going to cover. You're not giving me any cameraman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but for me, it was excellent training, mm. right? Because I was able to handle the camera. I'll come in, voice my report, write my report, voice it, edit it and get it ready for the wow. news report. Wow. Yes, and it was really interesting then Look because at these. there was this um, anxiety, yeah, this the, ball, rush, that the comes... rush of energy. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yes, I... but that was ah, just a Do big it? Ago. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right. there's something about the media. Once it bites you, you mm. yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's and it's ahead, yes. Okay. yeah. So I, I I know you from the bank. You know, I I met you in the banking world, and you were very supportive of my project. Um, and I wonder the transition. You know, many people study A and do B, but I always believe that everything adds up in, at the end. But what 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 led you into the banking world after experiencing media and um, why did you exit when you did? The banking world. <laughs> so, um, sincerely, some things I won't say on camera, there was an <laughs> opportunity then. Oh, okay. There was an opportunity then, and I thought it was going to be, um, it was going to basically enlarge my scope, mm. and I won't be limited in my um, perspective. And today I'm very grateful for the opportunity and the experience. It's been very... Um, enlightening um, and it's excellent because you're able to wear different hats and see issues from different perspectives mm. at the same time and um, yes I, but I never really left the media mm. because oh. even though while I was in banking I also had my show I was producing and wow. producing and presenting yes wow. and my it was independent production it was airing on DSTV it was airing on high TV mm. finally at the time and the fantastic thing is that my organization knew that and they yes the very fantastic organization ah. to support you to because you know you have to bring your best self right. to work right. and you should also have the opportunity to express yourself fantastic. fully you can almost guess the doesn't. bank trust me go ahead <laughs> i just wanted to ask you how do you what's your take on how um journalism female in journalism has evolved you know um, before the women were very quiet, you didn't really see. I mean, you would see female journalists, but not like you see them now. Yeah. Now we have TV shows, we host all TV women. shows. Yeah. They are all, all women, like this one. Yeah. You know, how would you? What's from that time to now? How do you think it's evolved? Well, on NTA there were women shows yeah. Yeah. in those days, right? But there were few and far between. 
today it's almost like um, a <laughs> proliferation <laughs> of women focused shoes everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing about the social media is you could actually just produce and present your own shoe mm -hmm. on Instagram mm -hmm. <laughs> without having to have <laughs> TV traditional. So it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everyone literally is a producer on YouTube today. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. with their font. So there's a proliferation, and I don't think it's limited to Nigeria. I think it's a global. Right. Um, a global um, renaissance mm. of women finding their voices mm. and that's one of the themes of Chatroom, also the movie I produced that is going to be released on April 15 on Good Friday um, on the digital platform AfroCinema.tv. It's about finding your voice mm. and being able to express it. Um, at least you'll get the opportunity to express it. It never really used to be so. Is it, is it a movie or a documentary? Or? It is a film, a feature length entertaining movie mm. that stars old and new Nollywood, as someone called it at a show I, I attended recently. So it has veteran actor Tony Omez, mm. and then it also has new Nollywood lover boy Ibrahim Suleiman. Oh, yeah. nice. So someone said that's the old and the new yeah. lover boy, <laughs> right? It has um, award winning singer Omar Umi Megbele. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Yes, it has our interesting comedian Akuroro. Oh wow. wow. It has I'm looking forward to it this. has an actor I personally really love, Odun La Dia de Kola. Ah, oh, everybody yeah. loves him. You know <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like watching his movies. Yeah, so yeah. when I had the opportunity to produce, I thought I really wanted him to yeah, be on it. That's fantastic. Right. And then at this moment, you know, is my associate producer. Ah yes. 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 How has the journey of production yeah. been? You know, because we've interviewed uh, this is this is your first um, feature film. Yes, feature film production, yes. How how was it? What were the challenges? <laughs> Do you really want to say everything here? <laughs> because somebody is watching and wondering, ah, this woman put it all together, has all these big names, it must have been all rosy, and we really need to be realistic in letting people understand. It was not all rosy. <laughs> it was not all rosy at all. But it's all about attitude. When you have the attitude of this is a learning experience, mm. and um, you have a positive attitude that no matter what happens, it has to succeed. Mm. I think those are the two things. And I think mm. it's something that um, trans transcends Industry. Production, mm. yes. It, first and foremost, I even if you have um, issues, challenges, failures, you feel forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. You take your learnings mm. yes. from it, and then move you move on. Door. It's not for you to stop there. No, 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 exactly. no, 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 no. Because there's so much more. There's so many yeah. more successes yeah. mm. ahead of you. So mm. it's just for you to take the learnings and feel forward and move on, and then have the attitude that hey, I'm not giving up. Is there going to be a premiere? Mm. Yes, yeah. there's a premiere. A world premiere at Weedbaker Hotel ah, cool. on um, the 17th, on ah. Easter Sunday. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. You know, I, I would like to know, would you say that you found or you find women quite supportive of your journey, wherever you've been, banking, media, production? Or would you say that that's that something women still need to work on, women supporting women? Women are wonderful, <laughs> yes. So a woman is a natural carer. A woman can only feel threatened if they think you want to take something that belongs to them, mm. right? But once you're not a, a threat, I think women in my journey, women have actually really been supportive. Adiso Oyinukwe is my associate producer, and I ap approached her because I learned she actually did um, study drama for her first degree. Yeah. And it just occurred to me that I've never really seen her act. Mm. So I approached her with the opportunity that, hey, would you be interested in acting? It's something that's focused on women. You focus on women all your life. And she was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> And eventually she was like, OK, yes. Oh, fantastic. And she's been very supportive on the project. And in my, uh, in my foreign to banking, definitely, my <laughs> CHRA is wonderful. A my woman. GM Corporate in Investment. Woman. Yes. <laughs> Powerful women. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know if I'm permitted to call their names. No, uh -uh, you can. OK. All right, so we have to wrap up now. But how do you fund this thing? People always wonder, I want to do a movie. Where do you get the funding from? Or just money that you saved up? It's a combination. So there's self-funded. I have support from the Bank of Industry. I have oh. a few um, sponsors. Yeah. And then it's, um, the support has to go on because I think Chatroom is a movie that every woman has to see. Mm. So I'm actually interested in getting organizations to get there. Uh, because one of the beautiful things about Chatroom is that the tagline of Chatroom is break the silence, mm. right? 
um, that is, I was talking about the power of your voice. We need women to break their silence. Mm. And on the movie website, there's going to be a, a literal virtual chat room, mm. never before seen in Nigeria or in Hollywood, mm. where you can actually go and speak to someone, either as an anonymous person, or if you want to share your email address, mm. you can. And it's um, supported by the Nigerian Institute of Counselors. Fantastic. Thank wow. you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. We show the best in your success. And let us know when the premiere comes so we can also support you. Are you invited right now? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Okay, thank that's all we can take on this segment. Let's go to break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.